Batgirl's directors uh, tried to steal bootleg cell phone footage of the movie. Okay, what? First of all, I <laughs> want to know this. Is, uh, apparently, it can be done both ways, but cell phone, one word, or cell phone, two words? One word. One word. Right, Dane? Yes. Dane? I don't know. On no, the, no. the things. I oh, always okay. thought it was two words. Uh, it's two. I, I, I had a video. Okay. I had a, a, uh, like back before people were making skating edits with their phones. Uh, I was making such a thing and had a, uh, like a segment, like a, a series of YouTube videos called the cell phone sessions. And I always used cell phone as one word. And I would always get the little squiggly line underneath. They that, thought that it, was it was wrong. wrong. Yeah. yeah so just, whatever. Uh, Stylistic. The, I digress. There you go. So it says after <laughs> reviewing, uh, after receiving news from Warner Brothers Discovery uh, that they'd canceled their film uh, late in production, Batgirl directors Adil El Arbi and Bilal Fala. I'm oh sorry, I, I don't know if that's, that's how great. The, uh, the second name. You probably just right. committed a hate crime. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I found like out that they had already <laughs> lost complete access to the movie they'd worked on for so long. Ooh. According to a new interview, Fala attempted to record even a bit of footage on their smartphone after being told that HBO Na Max would not allow the allowed to be moving forward with the film wouldn't that be like a crime to, to like try to steal, to the, steal footage? the footage like even like secondary like that like like for what purpose right my bigger question is who's they them on their smartphone is this another they them instance uh i'm scared what do you oh like what do you is mean is this their pronouns they, uh them? i i don't think so okay i don't think I so not. oh also guys before we move on mary is uh she said she, she's hoping to be back Tomorrow, yes. so we are. Uh, I read in uh, in the chat that people are worried. <laughs> We're about all her. down for the the, count. the, the potato born illness <laughs> no. uh, is not good. Lydia's hurt. Dane looks like he's in the middle of the flu right now. <laughs> I'm thriving, right. and I'm over here just like chilling, chilling. Look at these wusses over here. Know, like right? they're all sick. Surgery. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, surgery. My gosh. So it says. Uh, however, the directors discovered that the servers containing the work they had done was already locked away, which means that while Batgirl hasn't been destroyed, all the people who worked on the movie have absolutely nothing to show for it. Mm. That is not true. You got paid. Interesting. You, you made your money. There you go. You don't have. Yeah, who cares? Yeah, you don't have a right to something that you don't own. You don't own the movie. You were hired to make a movie, uh, and they decide where that footage goes. This strikes me as me being like, I own part of this company because mm. I worked here definitely not the case i'm happy to work here but i don't own part of it i, I was literally thinking i was like we could do a skit where like uh, I, i'm turning into tim now where i'm, I'm pitching skits <laughs> oh live on air boy. where it's like you trying to like steal footage from like a secret irl uh, <laughs> and you're like and then like the andy shuts down because you know even you and your husband gets used against you to like block you out of the <laughs> server to not yeah. give you access to the footage Rude. but like be. isn't that insane that they confess to that like <laughs> is, is it that a cry was like i'm gonna steal intellectual property because i worked on it and i deserve it it's yeah. like, mm, no, um, you don't. I might have wanted to sit on that one. I'm just saying. That's a crime? They oh. also talked about how this was the shifting management strategy, and they thought that it was crazy that they would can a $90 million movie for a measly tax credit. That was in one of the articles I read. They said measly tax credit. Uh, $90 million on the movie, right? Uh, if you take the the logical conclusion of marketing, that's uh, budget times 1.5, which means about 45 million dollars in marketing. They got 15 to 20 million dollars in tax credits, so that's not a measly number. So they save the 45 million, and then they get 20 million back. That is a lot of money to say because you have to look at the 45 million as a cost that hasn't been spent yet, but is uh, all but official, right? So. It doesn't make sense to look at the movie as they as they lost ninety million. It's that they saved sixty five million, right? Because that forty five million dollar cost would have been incurred either way if they had gone through with it. Dude, I keep thinking like, how bad must that movie have That's been? So because bad. like, pretty much ninety percent of movies are like gigantic dumpster fires. Yeah, and you know, like this one, so bad. This one at least has like the Batman IP. Like, I, I, I feel like so. That. I don't think I think it's I, I think he seems to be very set on the concept of strategy. Uh, he's he's canning a lot of stuff in their animation department because it's animation because they're looking at the company as a whole with certain types of uh, of production that they're pushing forward strongly. So if you're doing HBO Max stuff, you're not doing movies. You're you're not doing HBO Max only movies. You're doing HBO Max television shows. Mm -hmm. If you're doing movies, they want those to be theater releases that then eventually go to HBO Max after they've been given a chance to make their money in the theaters. Okay. I still uh, think something's going to come from this. I still think that either they're going to I don't think they can legally release it now. No, because but they cuz they got the money back on the on the tax credit. I don't mean that. I mean maybe like a like a HBO series.
series is like behind uh, Bad Girl there, or something. That, that would many? be that would be like very interesting to see if they could actually get everybody to come back in and uh, like uh, and do so. It'd be even funnier if like a lot of times in their contracts they're like required to be part of like other parts of the production. Like they can't just be in the movie and go home. They have to do behind the scenes stuff for for document. You know, for uh, bonus features right. back when DVDs were a thing. It'd be funny if they made them come back in and honor their contract and make a documentary about like the making of Bat Girl. It's just that Bat Girl never came out. That would be I just keep thinking like regardless of how garbage it, it could be like it would have made money I mean it won't make any money because it's on HBO Max you, uh, there's no way to judge uh, what that means yeah. the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, only yeah. way you can do that is by subscribers added and the people that are championing this movie aren't people with money they're people that want to brag on Twitter because the movie was uh, checked all the right boxes so I, I don't think it ends up making any money uh, and it wasn't a big enough production with a small enough and with too small of a name recognition as far as actors to really be beneficial in the theaters. Leslie Grace is, is gaining in popularity, but she's not an Ezra Miller as, as crazy as that is. Ezra Miller has a bigger profile than she does. Jason Momoa certainly has a bigger profile True. than she does. I mean, he has a cult. Yeah. <laughs> you know? J- Jason Momoa. No, uh, Ezra Miller. Ezra, yeah. Yes. Ezra, Ezra, like, I mean, just the, just the, the, the children and the, and the people that he keeps on his homesteaded property alone would account for a couple of I know, right? sales Seriously. right there. <laughs> uh, so beyond this, uh, I thought this was very interesting, which is that they have now signed Matt Reeves, who directed the Batman, to a first look deal at Warner Brothers Pictures, which means that they get first dibs on any uh, movie that he brings forward. Oh, interesting. I don't know if that accounts to... I, I know that he had signed on to do more than one Batman. Uh, Batman movie I do not know for sure and somebody can correct me in the chat if I'm wrong but uh, maybe this counts as their announcement that they'll make the sequels but just the other day I was reading articles that were saying why hasn't the sequel to the Batman been announced it's the fourth highest grossing movie of this year which is not saying that much that's not saying much it's, it's like it's a uh, Top Gun uh, Doctor Strange and then I forget I had number three uh, Jurassic World Dominion and then the Batman. Oh, yeah, those uh, are great. I think they made a really big splash when they announced the movie with a pretty kick ass trailer. Although, did they did they announce that, like. Which movie? Gl- glittering Vampire Guy was going to be on the movie before the trailer. Oh, yeah. Robert Pattinson? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's it's now customary because the Batman, the, the role of Batman is kind of like the Joker in that the there's like mystique around the hiring and firing yeah. of the actors. Right. So it's a big deal. Like when Ben Affleck got hired as Batman, the first thing they said, they said, go off social media for, and they said it to every, they told Robert Pattinson, they told Ben Affleck, they said, go off social media for two weeks. It's going to be a disaster for your, you know. Right. I don't think that really mattered for Ben Affleck. He's like a boomer. I don't know why Robert like, Pattinson is a better Batman than Ben Affleck. I disagree with that. I, you would. I, I don't <laughs> you I didn't really would I, I I think Christian Bale is better than both of them oh yeah but, obviously. Uh, but I, I like uh, the Adam West or at this point I should say that Ro- that Robert Pattinson played a fine an okay Batman but at, as Bruce Wayne he just plays Batman with a suit on rather than I think Lydia's cast is a better Batman than Ben Affleck which one? My cast? Oh, yeah. yeah. Agreed. Yeah. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty you're, good, You're Batman. wearing a blanket live on air. What, what do you <laughs> yeah. know? What, what do you, you know, know about style? Excuse me, an America blanket. <laughs> that's true. Well, yeah. I mean, I can't tell from here. <laughs> that's yeah, okay. Uh, so so we, we, we it does look like we're going to get those other mo- uh, the other Batman movies. It's funny because they said he will be phased out after making his Batman. Like, they said Robert Pattinson's Batman will be phased out after making his trilogy. I'm like, that's not phased out. He just finished his job. Right. He doesn't need to. And then they were they were talking about it like that was like a big uh, like a big thing. I'm like, well, it's because none of the other actors since Christopher Nolan and Christian Bale have been able to actually finish a tr- like a trilogy of just their movies. Henry Cavill had his one movie and then had to share it with Batman with Ben Affleck when they did Batman versus oh, Superman yeah. and right. Justice League. Ben Affleck never got his own movie at all. He Thank only God. got. Uh, he only got uh, <laughs> Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, and then the Justice League cuts, and then he made the uh, and then Superman, Henry Cavill. They don't even allow him to appear as in like guest cameos. They keep doing the thing where they show him from like the shoulder down. They, they show Superman That's from so the shoulders weird. down so that they don't have to they have to show his face. Yeah, they don't have oh, to show his face. So. Shady. You know, I keep thinking he'd be a good uh, James Bond. Cavill. He's too. He's too, he's too bulky. Oh, he, would really? need, he would need to lose some of the muscle mass. He would I need to soil. He would have to James go for. Bond. He'd have to go for the swimmer's lo- the swimmer's body yeah, rather true, it's than more the. Svelte. Yeah. yeah. Why can't he be like a Giga Chat one? Because like, he'll look like the Hulk coming into that room with uh, with all the other people. 
base. That sounds good to me. Um, <laughs> I, I want Bond to go back to suave. I, I don't okay. want Bond to be. Um, he doesn't need to be Jason Bourne. Okay. I so, see. That's fair. So they've got the 10 year plan for it. And, and then this is the other thing that I really wanted to talk about, which is they did a survey talking about what people <laughs> thought about Ezra Miller in The Flash uh, and how it would affect the release of this film. And you get this handy dandy graphic here. Uh, and basically it lists uh, from left to right, it lists you release the, so it gives you all of these different crimes <laughs> and, then, oh and then asks you what they think they should do. So it says release the film as is, that's the turquoise one. Blue is postpone the film, but leave the original actor or actress in. Uh, I guess that's what, that's like a really ugly shade of mustard yellow. Mm -hmm. Postpone the film to refilm with a different actor or actress. And then Maroon is cancel the film and never release it. Uh, the, the America I'm on that be, side, by uh, the way. Yeah. America is very libertarian. Uh, assuming this was done, yeah, U.S. moviegoers owning an unlicensed cannabis farm, 45% just said release the film right, as nobody is. nobody cares, yeah. The scary part is down here way at the bottom, the crime listed is grooming children yeah. <laughs> to create opportunities to abuse them. Most uh, and 8% of the people just said, just release the film as is. That's very few, <laughs> to be fair. 49% of people said it should never be released. Other people said it should be postponed to be refilmed with a different person. Well, that makes most sense. I, I mean, cancel great. it altogether doesn't really make any sense. Just put a new actor in it. Sure, like that's, yeah. uh, but I. But, you know, the, the uh, initial reaction is to say, like, just Percent. cancel it altogether. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, and then leaving a firearm around children, 18% were just like, let it go. Let it release <laughs> the movie. So, you know, uh, I don't know what you guys think about this. What do you think they should do? I mean, I mean, like, scrap the project entirely at this point. I mean, release a Flash movie, like, s slowly in the future once, like, the stink of this guy wears off. I got Good it. Idea. Swap the casts on Batgirl and the Flash. <laughs> don't tell anyone. And remake both, both movies. movies. Ezra Miller gets to be Batgirl. Yes, they them. Liz Leslie Grace gets to be the Flash. Perfect. Uh, and, and you just release the films that way. Uh, Brett, you're a genius. I, I like the I way know. you think. I know. Let's I know. do it. Let's so do it. Uh, it, 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 <laughs> this is, but I think that the movie's garnered so much press now that it, people are going to go see it out of sheer curiosity. True. Uh, that's a good point. Which is, and, and it's kind of the same thing you said for the the Batgirl, like making a documentary about it would work just because people are be like ridiculously curious about what the hell happened what behind happened? the scenes. How but I don't think, so bad? I don't think it has anything to do with that. I think it is more boring than you think. I think it comes down to business opportunities at the corporate level, which might be interesting to some people, but doesn't really make for interesting television. I think as a company, you just have to like w disavow this behavior. Like if people yeah. are disavowing the most, you know, lowest common denominator opinions, yeah, that like I shudder to mention. Mm -hmm. But um, and, like you, if you do that, like you can't accept Thank this you. guy. Thank you. So uh, like, he's a freaking criminal. Mm, yeah. I mean, yeah, like that, I, I, I'm thinking because all the other topics we're going to talk today, uh, talk about today are going to kind of tie into that more. So it's like, where does the line of acceptable degenerate behavior get scrapped <sighs> Jeez, for different people? You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> like it, there's there's different reasons as to why some behavior is allowed, some behavior isn't. I would argue that Ezra Miller's identity protects him from it as much as the concept. A hundred percent. Well, in the concept of they've just sunk that much money into it, the, the tax credit wouldn't justify That's sunk the write-off. cost fallacy. Yeah. Don't fall for it. Oh, no. Expl explain that to people. I know it, but explain. So sunk cost is where you invest a certain amount, and then you're like, oh, I have to follow through on this, even though it might be a total loss, just because you already invested. But I don't think that this will be a total loss. I, I don't think there's enough there for it to be a total loss. Yeah. We'll I think to. that we get blinded by the fact that uh, like we're talking about it because I'm looking this stuff up, and I'm bringing it to everyone's attention. The average person doesn't know this crap is going on. True. Good point. We'll just have to run two parallel universes, one where this stuff didn't happen and one where this stuff did happen yeah. and see what happens. That would be a good episode of uh, of a show. I love it. Like where it's like you're just talking about like we could run simulations on, on whether uh, uh, would it be better for them to scrap it all together. Uh, but they've, they've also they've they've given the ultimatum. He's got like a year. He's he's in rehabilitation right now for his mental health concerns. So they believe that with enough. Uh, contrition, uh, fake or otherwise, uh, and enough time that that will justify, or not justify, but it will wash enough of the bad press away from it to make it viable, especially given that the mainstream press isn't covering it anyways. True, good point. Do you guys remember Affluenza? 
Uh, rich people. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. A kid who got charged by being insanely drunk and hurting someone or killing someone, and he got ch- like they called it affluenza because he'd always been rich. Oh, and it just kind of took it for granted that everything would go his way, and they charged him <laughs> lesser for that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, and I remember, Wait, they charged I remember him lesser like, for what? For being rich and have never not having because never, of his lawyer, not because you just had a good lawyer. I don't know. They mentioned part of the reasoning this is a while ago so yeah. you guys are welcome to fact check me on this but it was a young male teenager who got into trouble with the law and i remember the word affluenza being thrown around because he got charged so lightly given what he did that's was, what this ezra miller f- thing feels like to me but I does would, he have like they them enza then no it's gotten worse since then. identity enza yeah yeah uh, i was always under the impression that affluenza was like uh rich people take for granted the fact that they have what they have so a feelings of guilt, lack of motivation, social isolation experienced by wealthy people. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's not hard to, to believe. Oh, yeah. Here's the kid. What's his name? Drunk it? driver sentenced. Oh. Fort Worth judge decide fate. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Same idea. Very much so with Ezra Miller, though. I feel like he's just had too much privilege and now he's just Dude, that's the n- that's a lawyer you need. Yeah. Where, like, yeah. <laughs> they can come up with some bold excuse like that. It's like, <laughs> well, actually, he's been rich all his life, so no, no, this means anything to him. Like, <laughs> okay. you know what? You're right. You're right. Like, wh- are you kidding me? That's pretty Community good. service for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.